In this video, you will learn how to export your library to different formats. Now under the Manage tab, with hosted libraries selected, down you have Export in the submenu. Click on it. And here you have the different export formats that you can choose from. Now by default, you have Export Web App selected. And you see here there's a message that says Library may be accessed at and gives you a URL. If you click on this URL, We'll open the browser and we'll show you your library. Now, kotb.com provides a free URL for you to, uh, to host your library. So you own this URL and you can distribute it to your uh, users so they, ca they can access the library uh, immediately. This may not be very helpful for many uh, library owners because they prefer to have the library under their website or under their uh, domain name. So that's uh, where the this is wh how you can this is where you can export a web app so that you can upload it yourself manually to your own server and hence have the total branding for your library. So click on create and you'll choose the folder or just select the desktop. It'll take just a few seconds. Open folder. Now it gives you a collection of HTML, JavaScript, Java, uh, CSS files, images, and so on. Basically, you'd want to upload this to your uh, server. So if, you, if you're familiar with FTP, just upload it all. They're very light files. Let's see the size of them all. Okay, it's around, around 4 megabytes. So you just upload them all, and then the user will be able to access the the library from uh, from your uh, server from your domain. Now you can also export desktop apps. So we enter the app information, the app logo. You can export a Windows 32-bit or 64-bit. If you're not sure, just stick with 32-bit. You can add a uh, Windows icon file. You can also uh, export a Macintosh uh, app. You can export a mobile app. Of course, there are many details here. Uh, it's outside the scope, so we won't discuss it now. And enter the app name, the package ID, app version, description, icon, and for each platform that you want to export to, we'll click on enable, and then it will show you the properties that you need to fill in. Okay, and then since we're using a free trial, then we're not able to uh, to uh, export a mobile app yet, but here it should say uh, create or generate an app, and then the last option is integrate with LMS. So this allows you to create SCORM components in case you have an LMS, a learning management system like Moodle or Blackboard or Edmodo. Of course, there are many, many, many SCORM compliant LMSs. So you uh, just enter the course title, the ID and the version, you click on create. This will give you a SCORM component where you can add into your LMS.